All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, from wherever you are joining us from. My name is Emmanuel Obiajulu. I'm from Nigeria. And today I'll be sharing uh, on the projects we had uh, with the aid. Uh, please, the slide, please. Okay, just a second. Slide is coming up. Okay, so we'll be speaking on the AID project. The AID is an acronym that actually means audiovisual of evil dances. We are talking of culture. Culture, as we know, is a way of life of a particular people. But this culture, when it is lost, then automatically we lose the culture or we lose the essence of these people. Basically, there has been this conception among the senior citizens in the culture of Nigeria, most especially the Igbo culture in the southern uh, eastern part of Nigeria. And this culture is that, this perception is that so many persons are beginning to clamor that we are losing the touch of our Igbo traditional culture. And this is because most of these are uh, dances that we know that has been ancient to this culture. Most of the time, it has started going into extinction. And because of this, so many people have forgotten about these dances. This is the essence we decided to carry out this project to make sure that we bring this uh, culture as well as these dances back to limb light. Looking at Nigeria, we have over 371 ethnic groups which are further broken down into tribes. In Nigeria, as it stands, in the southern part, this project decided to take a tour and explore five different states in Nigeria, in the eastern part of Nigeria. We have the Imo state, we have the Anambra state, Enugu State, Abia State, and Ebony State. With this project, we are able to tour these rural areas and we are able to document 16 audiovisuals as well as 25 images of Igbo dances. In the course of this presentation, we'll be playing some of these dances for you, a thriller, so that you can have a feel of what this culture it is like for the eastern parts of Nigeria. And also in the course of this presentation, we'll be taking you through the experiences, the value, the implementation, the impact, as well as the team that carried out this project. So at this point, I'll be inviting my co-presenter in the person of Mr. Chibike to tell us more about this. Thank you.
All right, so welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll be speaking on why we implemented these eight projects. There are so many reasons why we actually implemented these eight projects, but I'll just spotlight in just a few of them to actually give us a glimpse of how these projects went and all what was involved. Okay. So bear with me. First, um, okay. Good. Okay, the first is to bring to is to bring in the unique knowledge and dance culture of the Igbos people in the form of licensed audiovisual, audio recording, and images in digital space through the Wikimedia project. Now we understand that Igbo actually have a rich culture when it comes to the dance, when it comes to dancing. And most of this, as Mr. Chikibiki rightly said, that they are not well documented in digital space. So we embark on this project in order to create that visibility, in order to create that documentation for all these dances in the Wikimedia space. This is one of the reasons why we actually implemented this project. Then also to showcase the beautiful culture of the indigenous Igbo people. Also, in the course of where you'll be watching this thriller, you'll be also discover that so many of these dances, they are beautiful attire, which are unique to these dances. And as a such, it makes them unique to their culture. And you can't take the culture away from this beauty, therefore creating a big value for them. Then also to preserve these dances and the stories behind it. We also get to discover that there are, that there are ancient stories that are tied to these dances as well as tied to the culture, that you can't separate either of them. So this uh, project ends up trying to preserve not just the dances alone, but the stories behind them. Then another fact why we also embarked on it was to ensure history is told by the right people who are actually indigenous to it. Now we also discovered that most of the time, history are not being told by the right people. Therefore, this actually distorts history to an extent. But this project goes down to the indigenous people, the original owners of these uh, dances, as well as of this culture, thereby making them tell us how it came about, then documenting it for them, so that in the years to come, there won't be any issue in terms of uh, this story or this dance does not belong to a particular tribe or does not belong or belongs to a particular tribe. So with this, they can easily make reference to such a documentation on the wiki space to do this. So having said this, we'll be playing the thriller of this video that encompasses few of these dances we had. Remember I told you we had 16 dances. So there's a thriller that just spotlights each and every one of them. So at this point, we'll be playing, just sit back, relax and enjoy it. Thank you.
All right, so you're all welcome back. I hope you all enjoy that video. And I don't know if the audio was audible enough, but however, from the video, you could see the dances, you could see the culture, you could see elders that were being interviewed. So all this uh, ended up summarizing the whole idea of this project. So further, going further, I'll be speaking on how people are receiving this work uh, we have done. And I'll be inviting uh, Mr. Chibike, my co-presenter, uh, to tell us how people have been uh, receiving this work. Okay, however, let me just take a little of it. So looking at what we've done so far, uh, we discovered that from the YouTube channel, okay, you could see the video, thank you. This one means when you speak. Okay, good, you could hear me. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Okay, so from the, uh, from the interaction we had after posting this uh, video, on YouTube, we discovered that we have 47 subscribers and 6,303 viewers. Uh, within since June, we posted it and they are still counting. So what this entails is that people are actually looking out for such content, uh, both on the Wikimedia space and on the contemporary media, social media. So therefore, because this actually brings them closer to their culture, making them feel the vibe of what, the, what it means for them uh, to be even within their indigenous community. So which means they want to actually enjoy more of this. So that is why we have such a number of view within a short period of time. And also the impact this work has created, uh, replication of similar project by the Anglican community in India. Now we understood that we started this project at first, but now it has started going around for people to actually imitate and do similar things. And what this end up uh, impacting on our community, it makes us be able to note those culture that we need to actually document so that at the end of the day, we don't end up losing this culture as a time of either as a course of time or any other uh, eventualities that might happen. And also uh, it has inspired the ebook Wikimedia community to share in the joy of language and support in the outreach. The Wikimedia ebook community actually welcomed this project with a huge excitement because what this end up showing is that it showed them that they can actually stay wherever they are and people will understand the culture wherever they are. And also it deepens the in-depth knowledge of what these dances means to everyone. So for the community of the, the Igbo community as large, they were really excited having this uh, to share with everyone. Then also uh, the podcast series uh, and work to document uh, both on the US Library of Congress and so. So we also have this uh, documented. We have, we have a series of podcasts uh, on it, which actually also impacted in different ways through the review we got. So thank you very much. At this point, I'll be also be inviting uh, my co-presenter, Chibike, to give us the next slide where he speaks on it. Thank you very much. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, the last note. So we actually uh, thank you for giving us the time to speak and also share our experience with this aid project. Uh, so we're excited. We'll be dropping the link of uh, this whole video of the project also 
uh, both on the Wikimedia, uh, all across Wikimedia project. So we've seen them there. So thank you for giving us the time. We really appreciate. And if you have any question, we are open to them. Thank you.